Is the ammo shortage over? Today I have an update for you for July 2021. I'll also mention some supply updates on firearms as well. So go ahead and tap the thumbs up button and we'll get started. How I've been judging the inventory levels is basically can somebody stroll into say a Walmart or an Academy Sports and pick up what they need? Or are they still having to go online to find a marked up item on this or that website? And so I feel like we will return to normal when we're able to walk in any Walmart or Academy Sports, pick up what we need at a reasonable price and go on about our day and not have to worry about it. This whole having to search online and pay a super high price that will eventually go away. But I think the, the high prices will stay much longer. And I mean, once the inventory levels do return, before we start seeing a, a reduction and with the inflation levels, there's still a chance the high prices could stay. There's always a chance of that. So since the I mentioned in the last video, the, the Remington plant had been restarted and I've been seeing more supply at Academy Sports and local Walmarts. I'm in the North Georgia area to give you some perspective. The last time I went to Walmart was I'd say um, about a month, month and a half ago. All they had was bulk 100 packs of 12 gauge. That's all they had. And that was on the shelf, not behind the glass case. The local Walmart where I am, their shotgun shells, they don't put behind glass. Just the just the shotgun shells are, are on just a regular shelf. But rifle and pistol ammunition is behind glass. You have to get a manager to unlock the glass. And they are still limiting what is behind the glass to two boxes, regardless of what size box it is. It could be a case. It could be a case that contains several packs. A case they are still counting as one unit versus one small box as a unit. So you're allowed two units behind glass and they have not put a limit on me as far as what I get off of the regular shelf with shop shells. So this, let's see, about a week ago I was in and I got two boxes of 16 gauge. It was Remington, number six shot. Again, 16 gauge, it was $9.27 for a pack or a box of 25, and that's before tax. And I got a couple of boxes that was behind glass. They had the Winchester 22 long rifle. It was in a, a box that contained 333 rounds, and it was good ammunition, brass, Brass casing with copper coated hollow points. I think it was 36 grain. But again, there's a hollow point with copper coat and it was brass. And that price on the 22 LR was $18.88. This is before tax. Now, the real win on this day was the CCI and it was the varmint grade 17 grains which was specifically made for the savage a17 rifle 17 hmr and i got a 200 round jumbo box for 52 dollars that's before tax 200 rounds 52 dollars and it looks like some quality cartridges there so i mean we're still paying solid prices but these prices are much better than the prices I have seen online. Much better. I mean, if you're going to buy ammo, you try to find it at Walmart or Academy. I mean, the prices are up there, but they're nowhere near gouging like I have seen online. And other things that I saw this trip to Walmart, they had 20 gauge. They had 28 gauge. Didn't see any 12 gauge this time. Also behind the glass, I mentioned that 22. They probably had seven or eight cases of that 22 at 333 rounds. They had a, a couple of other large cases, which was just hard nose, 22 LR, lead, no copper coating on that. I saw two boxes of 308, 
168 grain federal like some pretty good ammo i try to stick with 150 grain on my 308 but that is what they had on this trip i can definitely say i have seen an improvement over the last two months prices are still solid i think we are making improvements though that's that's good news uh, last trip I made to Academy Sports, they had some the 17, I think, Winchester Magnum rounds, not 17 HMR. It was the Winchester Magnum version of the 17 caliber. And they had a few other oddball. They had some AK-47 rounds and very small 20-round packs. But they had they had no regular pistol ammo. It's been hit or miss on that. But I mean, I'm seeing improvements and it's, it's the first time I have seen 17 HMR ammo on the shelf at either store in, in probably a year and a half, two years. So that was a real big win there. It's been very hard to find. And same thing with a quality bulk pack of 22 LR that I haven't seen that in probably a year and a half, two years. So a couple of big wins and, and the last time I was at Walmart, I mentioned I saw they had probably a dozen 100 round of the value pack Federal 12 gauge. I was able to pick up three of those. And this round, again, uh, again, it was unfortunate they didn't have 12 gauge, but we're making improvements. Post a comment down below. Please let the community know what you are seeing with inventory levels in your area preferably at your big box stores, Academy, Walmart, for example, where most average Joe is going to walk in and buy some ammo without having to think. While he's picking up his groceries, he just strolls through the sporting goods, picks up what he needs, continues on about his shopping trip. He's not having to make some special high-dollar order online. Please let us all know. And if you're aware of any Internet sites that are reasonable with the prices let us let, let us know on that as well and check out some of the other links down below to support the channel and tap the thumbs up icon share this video and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching have a great day